Welcome back everyone to some more Dragon Quest Monsters Joker. We started the game last time, we picked Draki as our starter, who I named Bruce, and now we've recruited Gooba the Slime and Platy the Platypunk. We're on Infantile, uh, supposed to be going to pledge ourselves before this uh, contest can begin. Our dad sent us off after imprisoning us for 10 freaking days, which has got to be like uh, the most hardcore grounding I've ever heard of. And off-screen, in between videos, I just got us uh, a couple of levels, I think Platy leveled, and uh, maybe Goober as well, I'm not too sure. But as you can see, we're uh, level 4, level 3, and level 2. So let's continue, let's go! I think this is about as far as we got last time. We've explored a little bit of... Uh, I, I still can't get over the names of these islands. Domicile? Infantile? I'm trying to think what else there could be. Oh, Fertile? That was another one. Right, let's uh, fight some more Platypunks, probably. I'm not going to be able to avoid them. They run at you at some speed. Oh, I've, al I've also upped the game volume a little bit because it was a little bit quiet. So hopefully that sounds all right. Go on, Bruce. And yeah, we didn't learn any new abilities or anything like that. We just gained a few stats. And very little money as well. So we're supposed to be trying to find a, a cave, which I, I assume we're going to just run into naturally as we follow this path. Oh, there's a big bridge. Oh my god, is that a chimera? That is totally a chimera flying about, I think. Or it could be, uh... One of those other birds. I forget the name. Uh, we've already run into... We, we, we've seen that there are stronger enemies on this island. That uh, Gigantes absolutely destroyed us. So we've got to be on our toes a little bit. Oh, there's a tent. We don't want to just run into everything. Or at least we want to be a little bit careful if we do. Because, uh... Yeah. Uh, we've not bought any equipment for our monsters yet either. We could do, because we've got a little bit of money now. Uh, we found some in a chest. Which uh, seems to be... I mean, I don't know how we're going to be making money in this game yet, other than finding it in chests, because these monsters do not drop any whatsoever. Ooh, that is a blue chest over there. Oh no! You can't... Game... You can't do that. That's illegal. That's actually illegal. You can't just put that in front of me and then be like, sorry, bro. Not yet, buddy. God damn it. Let's check out this tent. But yeah, so far, this is utterly charming, and I'm uh, sure I'm going to enjoy it. Hello! Can I really not break pots? This makes me very sad, you know. Makes me very, very sad. As a scout, you should be aware of how your scout attack works. For example, if you attempt to scout a monster and it's only 20% convinced, you'll have uh, one in fifth chance of recruiting that monster. That's kind of what I assumed would be the case. In other words, you'll successfully scout the monster one out of every five times. So, a monster doesn't have to be 100% convinced to join you, which is a good thing, because it's difficult to be that convincing. In fact, a monster which, uh, which only 5% convinced might still join you. This is true. This is oh, this is true actually. So, what if what if I got super lucky with that Gigantes? What if I, you know what? That might be worth trying again then. Instead of trying to attack him, I mean he might attack first though. But you never know. We might get super lucky. You know those crates we scattered around the bottom of the ladder behind this tent. Uh, yes, I think so. Well, they were in the way, so I took it upon myself to clear them out. If you're headed for the scout post, use the ladder, it's much quicker. Thank you. I do, I, I, <laughs> that hairdo, I swear to God, I was like best friends with a, with a guy in primary school that had that exact hair, that exact colour. Ugh, the 90s were a special time. Uh, hey, welcome! Oh, crap. Oh, Scoutmaster Shuffles? It's a simple little test. You just have to bring me some monsters. I, I completely skipped his dialogue. Can I read it again? 
I'm skipping through it so I can read it again. Oh. Oh, God. I've not... No! What did I just agree to? Bring me a monster that you've scouted. Now go. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I completely skipped through his dialogue. Uh, your task is simple. Bring me a monster you've scouted. Yeah, I do. I have one. In fact, I've got two, but... I've solved pro problem number one. Scouting monsters is the most basic skill you must master. A medicinal herb. Yay! Uh, ten problems. Yeah, I'm so sorry I skipped through that dialogue. I'm sure it's, it's not that important. Uh, now the monster scout proficiency test consists of ten problems. I just don't think this guy's a master Roshi, so I'm not going to give him that voice. Uh, the next problem will cost 10 gold coins. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, why not? Good, let us begin. Listen carefully to problem number two of Monster Scout Proficiency Test. <laughs> that little jingle. Bring me a monster that can equip a Cypress Staff. Perhaps you know that you can equip your monsters with weapons? I do. Now go and find that monster. I... I wonder if I already have one. Or do I have to actually have it equipped with a Cypress Staff? Uh, do you have the monster that I asked for? I'm just going to say yes, and maybe, maybe I do. Oh, I do! <laughs> I do! <laughs> Bravo, young man, you've solved problem number two. Drakis can certainly use Cypress Staves. I didn't know that. A bag of anti-magic... anti-magic powder? I assume that's gonna stop enemies from using magic. Now problem number three! Oh, hang on, it's too soon for that. Am I too low level? We can't continue until... oh, until after the opening ceremony. Okay. Well, sorry I skipped your dialogue, buddy, but thanks for the uh, rewards. It looks like we can come back to you later for some more quests. Yo, how's the scouting, dude? I've got the I've got the store. If you're looking for the scout and lowdown, interested, bro? Sure. You give the scout command and your monster dudes show the uh do their show of force thing, right? It's like they attack the monster, but they don't inflict any damage, dude. The point is to show the monster they're trying to scout how powerful, how powerful, how powerful you and the dudes are. Basically, if the beastie digs how mighty you are, he might throw his chips in with you. Yeah, you've got it. Like, totally, dude. The tougher your dudes are, the more monsters you can scout, bro. If it isn't working for you, go get in some fights and level up your beasties. My bro? My my dude, bro? Audacious. Okay. Right. <clears throat> After that cringe voiceover, let's uh, head back out. Got more slimes. Uh, and I guess, yeah, wasn't this where we tried to climb up here? Where was that ladder? There was it. He said behind this tent. I think he's lying. Unless it's over this way. Uh, behind the tent? He said there was a ladder behind the tent. I don't see it. But it, oh, there, there it is. Now I see it. Yeah. Did he move the? Uh, okay. <laughs> that platinum plunk's gone. Uh, he must have cleared the uh, the boxes, so that's a little shortcut for us now, because I'm pretty sure I couldn't go this way last time. Yeah, I couldn't. I was wondering maybe we'd have to get a certain monster to smash those ourselves, but it looks like uh, that is not the case. Right. Keep on working our way upwards. I'm sure they said they mentioned a cave or something. Maybe we haven't found it yet. Okay, into another fight we go. Now, obviously, once we've seen so many of these fights, I'm not going to show them, but since it's so early in the game... Uh, wow, that thing did no damage to me. I'm really excited to see how the, the monster fusing works. But, uh, yeah, I mean... We've, we've barely scratched the surface yet. I, obviously, I'm sure the game will open up a bit more once we get this uh, opening ceremony done. 
Goober is level four. I have a feeling Goober's gonna get fused or replaced as soon as possible. Uh, but then again, you never know, you might learn some really cool abilities. Now, I wonder, does this game have a mechanic where if you if you are powerful enough, the enemies won't try and attack you? Or possibly even run away from you. Alright, same again. Why do they always get to make the first strike? Is it because they're attacking me first? It probably is. Yeah, I wonder, is there going to be uh, some sort of big monster up here? Are there... I mean, I assume there's going to be boss fights in this. Uh, Health-wise, we're doing okay. Platy's taking a little bit of a beating. But yeah, 4 XP, not too shabby. Bruce, level 5. Uh, also, there seems to be a skill point system, but we haven't got any of those yet. I wonder if we just... I mean, usually it's like you need to reach a certain level before you get skill points. <laughs> there we go. Level 5 is the uh, is the trick, right. Uh, 5 skill points. Platy, level 3. And, uh, right, let's see if we can spend these skill points then. Allocate Bruce's skill points. Uh, oh, okay, so... Two different categories. Looks like... Yeah, this is similar to Dragon Quest VIII. Dark Knight, we could learn Zam. Shade Slash, Tap Dance, War Cry. Or, it looks like Agility Boost is more, yeah, boosting stats. HP as well as Agility. So we could get, we could get 5 Agility bonus, or we could learn Zam. I feel like I, I feel, I feel like we're quick enough anyway. We've already got 34 Agility, which is mental. So I'm going to learn, uh, I think we're going to pop in five points to learn Zam. Very good. Alright. I have to uh, show that off. I forget what Zam does. I, I don't remember Zam being a... I, is it like an ele It had like an electric, a lightning bolt symbol, so is it, uh, is it an electric attack? I really don't remember what Zam is. I remember what Zap is. Ah, here's the cave. Uh, and it's a good job we've got a few herbs, actually, because I feel like we might need to start using them soon. Because it's going to be a bit of a ball like to run all the way back to the uh, Pokemon Center. And I'm just going to call it the Pokemon Center, okay? Because you know that's what it is. Right, first dungeon. Oh, we've got Drakis in here. We can get a friend for Bruce. I'm not going to, but we could. Right. Uh, give orders. Zam. Strikes a single enemy with dark lightning. Uses 4 MP. Let's give it a go. And, uh, looks like... Manually giving a command to see it. Pretty simple stuff. And I like that it shows the little arrows. Showing who's attacking who. Very nice. 29 points of damage. Oh, I'm glad I learned Zam. <laughs> I'm glad I learned Zam. Wham bam, thank you, Zam. Okay. Right. Guessing we won't be able to swim. Probably not. And again, we've got a very handy dandy little mini map there. Oh god, no, not Ellipse. Oh, that's ter- they're terrifying as it is, but them seeing them jump out of the ground out of nowhere is even worse. I am going to try and uh, recruit this, though. Uh, the question is, how lucky are we going to get? Should I weaken it first? Let's just scout, let's see what happens. Good start. I mean, again, it, there's all you know. There's always a chance. 
37%. Ah, oh, darn it. My luck is usually pretty bad, so yeah. Maybe, maybe I should try and weaken them from now on. Uh, oh, and he used, he used Zam on his own. Okay, so yeah, that's, that's probably down to his uh, tactics. Please give me, like, 5 XP. 6? Oh! 15 gold coins. Now you're talking game. That's more like it. Yeah, I feel like I need to, uh... I feel like I need to heal Platy. Use our first medicinal herb. Anti-magic powder. Seal an enemy's magic, yep. Pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory. There you go. I wonder if, uh, actually, maybe I should try the heal all command, although, will that use items? Maybe not. Right, which way do I want to go here? Uh... Oh, the shadow enemies in here too. Oh, I want to recruit all of these dudes. Ah, there's a chest. Oh, another lips. Okay, we're gonna try and get this one. Oh, there's a lips and a Draki. Okay. Uh, now, who are they going to target when I? Is it just random? It might just be random. I feel like we're gonna kill this lips before we get chance. Oh, Gooba went for the Draki instead. Ah, oh, we killed the lips, goddammit. That's fine. I mean, this is going to be a juicy bit of XP for us. Ten. Ho oh, ho, Gooba level five, going to get some skill points. Five skill points. Platy level four. Six HP, very nice. Six defense, even better. I'm liking our little team, you know. Right, let's see. What do we want to get for... Ooh. Heal. We could get Frizzin two points. I wonder if we can... I wonder if we have enough points to get heal as well. And then, oh, we can learn Zap and Body Slam. Oh, Goober. I think having the heal spell is has got to be my priority here. It's got to be. I'll put in, you can only put two in at a time, or at least one skill thing at a time. We learn Frizz. And, ah, oh, four points for heal. Oh, that's annoying. So close. Uh, four points for both of those. Okay, right. Well, at least we've learned Frizz, which, um, I actually forget what that does. Spells and abilities. Okay, so there are... Yeah, that's for heal and stuff. Okay. Well, we'll I, is Frizz the... Um, fire? Spell? Or is that... Oh, I'm confused. I can't remember. I play enough Dragon Quest games. I really should know. I'm also worried about fighting this thing. I feel like this, this thing's going to be difficult. Oh, and he's come with the Draki as well. Okay, focus on the Draki first. Good cut. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, Gooba's nearly dead. Oh, he's using Frizz. It is the fire spell. Okay. Oh, we killed it. Oh, I thought we'd have more HP than that. I wanted to scout it, goddammit. I feel like I should probably start inputting commands manually um, to avoid <laughs> killing things I don't want to kill. Bruce, level 6. Five more agility again. Bruce is so fast. Alright, what do we have here? A Cypress Staff. Well, we know who can equip that, don't we? Bruce. Have a staff. It's only going to give you four... Yeah, it's only going to give you four more attack, but it's better than nothing. It's better than a kick in the tits. I should use another... 
Should, how how close is Gooba to leveling again? 19. Okay, I won't take too long, because then, then we can learn heal, but for now I think I'm going to have to use another herb. We've only got one left now, once we do that, but Gooba is in desperate need of it, so... There we go. I really, I want to try and recruit a Lips, or a Kiss, or whatever the heck they're called. Uh, lips, yeah, right, let's give some orders. Let's take out the Draki first. Um, how much MP do you have left? How much MP do you have? Oh, you've only got two, won't be able to use them anyway, right. So just attack. The Draki, why is the lip? is the Lips stunned? Huh. Yeah, let's take out the Draki. This is a very different kind of battle screen as well. This is, uh... Taking a little bit of getting used to. Right, that should be good. Oh, Lips is confused! Why is Lips confused? Right, that didn't snap it out of confusion either. Okay, time to scout. Now, it, because it's confused, do we have a higher chance of scouting this thing? Again, I, I'm, I'm comparing it so much to Pokemon, but that's really my only point of reference. All right, 45%, come on. It's nearly 50-50. Come on. Oh, really? Oh, wow, it took offense, and now its tension increased. Good to know that can happen. Wow. Well, I didn't want you anyway, Lips. I did, actually. Don't know what I would have called you. Um, oh, no, I've... I... <laughs> I know exactly what I'm going to call it, actually. Uh, but yeah, one more fight like that, and we'll actually get Goober another level. So, yeah, really want to learn the heal spell. ASAP. Right, Mr. Lips, you're joining my team. I've decided. Now again, we're going to do exactly what we did last time. Going to attack the Draki. Health-wise, we're okay. Ah, oh. Only three damage, that's fine. Right, Draki's dead. Right. Lips. Join my team, you know you want to. I feel like I should give my monster team a name, like you do in Dragon Quest VIII. This is probably going to be about 45% again as well, isn't it? 46! Come on! Come on! Yes! We get uh, lips. whoop de doo Right. I don't know if you're going to replace Goober. I don't know how strong you are. Uh, hypnotist and Wisdom Boost. 30 HP. Comes with 30 HP already. That's pretty impressive, actually. Right, we're gonna we're gonna name this monster. We're going to name it. Uh, actually, not sure if that'll fit. I'm gonna call it Jolie, after Angelina Jolie and her luscious lips. That's what we're gonna do. And you will be. Oh, I wonder if substitutes gain XP. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Jolie in the at the moment, and we're gonna see if uh, if Jolie gains any XP. All right, where was I going again? This way. It really is very unsettling how they jump out of the ground like that, and how big they are compared to us. The two stun to act. Jolly good. This should, uh, yeah, this should get Goober another level. Let's 
slap the crap out of the uh, <laughs> thing with the cypress stick. It's a shame we can't see that. I mean, it would take way too much to animate all the different weapons and things for monsters, but that's fine. 10 XP, Gooba. Welcome to level 6, buddy. Oh, wait, did we not get any skill point? Oh, do we- uh, is it like... Oh... Uh... Wait, yeah, we- Hang on. Yeah, I've only got three- I didn't get any skill points. Booger. Right, well, let's put- we might as well just put the three we have in. Um, that sucks. It must be af maybe only every other level you get skill points. I think that's uh, something they've done before. That's a that's a ball ache. I want my heal spell, goddammit. Alright, looks like we're done with the cave. Up the rope we go. Oh, we came out of a well. Very nice. Oh, I hope we can explore more wells in this game. Right, looks like we're at the top. This looks like, yeah, this is, this is the temple, right? Oh, there's already someone up here. How do I get up there? I'll go around here, probably. Look at that sky. <laughs> that sky. Uh. Oh, this is going to be a... F oh, am I going to have to fight whatever the heck that is? I can't even tell. Oh, come on. Why don't you stop resisting and get tame already? The monster can talk. It's a doggo, too. But you would tame one such as I? You are a fool. I bow to no one. Cease this futility. I'll decide when to cease this fut- Grr, This is so not futile. I'll show you. Try this on for size. That electric guitar. Huh? Who are you? This monster's mine, kiddo. Book off and go play with your friends, okay? Are you much older than me? You really don't look it. Oh, ho, 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 I got blindsided. Why does this place teem with humans? Can it be that the Scouts of Cursed Contest is about to begin? Oh. <laughs> Come back here, you mangy poodle. And just like that, he was... He was outro. And yes, I'm going to get the blame for this, aren't I? Well, thanks a lot. You made it run away, you spiky-headed numbskull. Never seen one of those before. I was just about to scout it too. I, it didn't look like it was going that great. <sighs> I'm surrounded by idiots. Hey, I've got an idea. You give me one of your monsters and I'll call it even, okay? Uh, how about... No? How about you go screw yourself? So, you're the stupid silent type, eh? I was just joking, you know. Mm, were you, though? Were you actually? I don't know about that. Uh, can you please stop looking at me like that? Didn't your mother tell you it was rude to frown at people? That's just our... Again, we've got resting douche face. Anyways, I suppose you're here to take the scout's pledge, right? So I guess we're going to be rivals. Oh my god, is this my Gary? Are you my... Are you my Gary Oak? Oh, I, I didn't introduce myself yet. Uh, didn't I introduce myself yet? No, you didn't. I'm Solitaire. Everyone's got card names. Joker, Solitaire, Blackjack. Freaking, oh my gosh. Trump. Uh, I, I think I, I was supposed to be called Joker. I'm pretty sure, but I called myself Mage, so deal with it, game. I've ruined your theme. Mage, huh? Hang on, that sounds kind of familiar. Now, where would I have heard that name before? Uh, I don't know. I've, I've got 25,000 subscribers on YouTube at the moment. Not to brag or anything. Oh, that felt bad. No, I, I genuinely wasn't bragging. I, ugh. Ugh. Uh, whatever. I'm sure it's not important. See you, mage. Try to be a bit friendly next time, okay? I, I could say the same to you, solitaire. Also, I've noticed she's on her own. And you play solitaire by yourself, don't you? Solitary? Solitaire? I've actually only just- Oh my god, I've actually just made that connection. That's why they call it Solitaire! Because you do it by yourself! Oh my god! Anyway, let's make the pledge. 
The worn old scout stone stands before mage. Is it time to take the pledge? I think so. <clears throat> mage pledges to do his best in the monster scout challenge and also really needs to have a drink because his throat is <clears throat> groggy. When Mage examines the stone, he can just about make out some writing carved upon it. To honor he that did protect these islands, seven. Uh, to honor he that did protect these islands, seven. Upon the mount we set this stone. From ancient times did silence. Praise to him, monsters many. The writing is almost all worn away. It's hard to make much sense of it. Ah, I thought as much. Some of you scouts still haven't taken the pledge. Uh, who's that? Oh, this guy. Uh, I'm glad uh, I came to check up here. You're planning on entering the Monster Scout Challenge, aren't you? Well, we've just heard the preparations for the opening ceremony are complete. Ceremony will begin soon. You should hurry to Domicile. I'm going to stay here and look for more struggle, uh, struggles, stragglers. Okay, well, thanks for coming to tell me. I was going to head back and find out anyway, but... Alrighty, we've made the pledge. That was fun. Now, is there going to be an evac spell in this that will let me zoom back to, well, for example, the Pokemon Center? Because if there isn't, I'm going to have to run all the way back, and this is going to be a bit of a pain. Oh, I am so, so... T oh, wow, we're sliding! Okay, that was cool. Oh, I see where we are. Right, thank you for the shortcut game. That is much appreciated. I'm very tempted to try and see if I can get super lucky recruiting this Gigantes. What do you think? Should I try it? I feel like I should. I feel like before we go back and do the ceremony, we should we should at least give it one go. You never know your luck. I mean, I do. My luck is terrible always, but it's worth a try. Yeah, I really don't know if our substitutes are going to get any XP. I'm going to assume not, because of... I mean, this game's pretty old. Again, I, I should have looked up when this came out, but... You know, it's, it's probably mid-2000s, and I, I just feel like games back then weren't quite so kind to you when it, when it comes to that stuff. Uh, so I'm going to do another little save state here. Uh... I'm going to see if we can get, uh, get Gigantes to join our team. It's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. Where is he? Isn't he around here? Now again, draw distance might be buggering me up here, because... I could have sworn he was around here somewhere. Is he over this way? Where the heck is he? Sure, he was around here. Mr. Gigantes, I would like to uh, acquire your services, please. No, he wasn't this far. Where the heck has he gone? Aw, oh, game, don't, don't, don't do this to me. I, I, I want to just give it one more go. One go. I think the Gigantes must have been the one that destroyed this house. He is nowhere to be seen. I don't really want to be fighting any more slimes, because this is uh, a little bit boring. So, hmm. Maybe we won't get a chance to try the Gigantes. We just saw him as well. When we were up on the cliff, we just saw him. Where the frick has he gone? I swear, he was around here. Maybe... Maybe he's rare? Nah, he's not rare. We've seen him twice. Can't possibly be rare. Although I'm, I'm gonna bet there are rare monsters in this that maybe don't appear all the time. I just want to give him one little try. Yeah, it's just, it's just Slime City at the moment. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna run around a little bit then and just see if I can find him again. Uh, so I'll be right back. Oh, well, looks like Bruce just... Got to level 7 as I was uh, getting out of that fight, so... Are we going to get more skill points? No? We didn't get any more skill points. Are skill points really freaking rare in this game then? Is it every few levels? I wonder. Oh, there he is. 
There he is, yeah. So he, he must be uh, a little bit of a random spawn. Let's give this a go. Just realized I probably should have saved again. Never mind. Uh, okay. Are we going to get lucky here? Definitely, definitely not. But it's worth a try. Because can you imagine if I got this thing at this point? Oh, we're not even strong enough to build up any percentage. Oh, that's 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 fair. That makes sense. We are very low level. No, nothing. Okay. We are dead then. We are pretty much dead. Yep. Oh, and he's gained tension as well. Bye, Goober. 127 damage. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we need to run. And we managed to run. Thank Christ. Okay, we need to uh, head back to the Pokemon Center, which we're heading that way anyway. Uh, so at least it's good to know that, yeah, if a monster is really, really high level, there is, like, no chance whatsoever of you getting, uh, getting ahead of the curve. Although I bet there are some monsters that, again, it would be worth trying just in case. If we get a few more levels, maybe we could get 1 or 2% on that Gigantes, and then you never know. It might be doable, but it's uh, not worth worrying about right now. So we'll go heal up, and then uh, head back for the contest. I think uh, level-wise, we're okay. I, we've gained a few. I, I'm feeling pretty confident. I, I'd be better... I'd feel better if we had learned the heal spell. So I'm probably going to have to buy some more medicinal herbs. Uh, and in fact, I wonder, because I do have some money now, I wonder if I should go and buy a weapon for someone else as well. Because I could afford to do that. Uh, you've probably already heard, but they're ready to hold the opening ceremony. Yeah, I'll be there in a jiffy. Uh, might as well save. Music is so funky. Do, 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 do. Love it. Yeah, should I go buy some? I uh, probably should. Probably should. Now, I yeah, I could get the copper sword, which would be better for Bruce, but he's already got a weapon now, so I feel like oh, I could get the stone axe for Platy. Could do. Hmm. I think I think I am actually going to do that. Yes. Okay, that's equipped. Now, should I get stone claws for uh, for Gooba? Hmm. I really feel like I might replace Gooba. Or Gooba might be more of a healer for me, so... I don't know. I'm gonna hold off for now. I don't want to spend too much money so soon. I'm, I'm quite stingy in games a lot of the time, so... Uh, especially considering money seems to be pretty hard to come by at this point. We'll, uh, we'll, do, we'll do without. Right, let's hop back on our jet ski. I'm having a great time with this so far. I really hope you, you chaps are enjoying this whenever you see this. I've uh, not uploaded any of this yet. Uh, travel to the island? Yes, please. Oh, you know what I feel like I'm going to... You know what I'm going to do? Screw it. I'm going to order myself a pizza after this. I'm going to order myself a Domino's. I probably shouldn't. But I've been pretty good lately with going on runs and stuff, so maybe, maybe I've earned it. I don't know. Right. Let's get this ceremony, uh, underway. Sorry for keeping you waiting. The opening ceremony is about to begin. Oh, okay, I can just run up there. Who's this guy? Elderly gentleman. Um, yes, well, rather. What a lot of people are. I did not expect him to have a face like that. <laughs> Actually. 
<coughs> um, if I could have your attention, please. Right, jolly good. I hereby announce the uh, opening of the seventh Monster Scout Challenge. Oh, wow. Nice still frame there. I am Dr. Snap. Again with the card games. Commissioner of the Monster Scout Organization. My staff tell me uh, we have more scouts competing this year than ever before. As the commissioner and uh, as a challenge fan, I must say this is jolly exciting news. Jolly good. I think I know the reason. This year, we will be awarding the Legendary Scouts mark to the lucky winner. Legendary Scout mark, you say? What's that? Oh, DS games. It is a most remarkable artifact that shines with an otherworldly glow. That is quite an uncomfortable close-up. Um, just imagine how marvelous it would be. I don't know, what, what can you do with that, though? To equip your very own monster with such an historically significant item. Oh, yes, yes. It would be incredible. Wonderful. Truly marvelous. <laughs> uh, but I digress. In, in short, uh, I can tell you it's a jolly good prize. And don't forget, any one of you is capable of winning it. Except Solitaire. She sucks. Oh, yes. If any of you haven't registered yet, do hurry up and sign, at HQ, uh, sign in at HQ. That is all. Oh, uh, and may the best scout win. May the odds be ever in your favor. Have I registered? I don't think I've registered yet, have I? I need to get on that crap. Blooming bureaucracy, eh? Paperwork. That great big building up there is the Monster Scout Organization's HQ. Very proud of it. If you want to register for the challenge, go to HQ. Will do. Very nice water features in this game, I've noticed. Hey, did you hear what happened yesterday? HQ was attacked by monsters. Can you believe that? Was it? Is that? Oh, is that why it was delayed? Except there was only one of them, and it was just a little fellow. Some of the scouts got together to, you know, shoot it away and everything. Soon turned tail. So why did you say it was attacked by monsters if there was only one of them? Right. Uh, check out some of these buildings in a second. Commissioner Snap gets very nervous around large groups of people. To think that he conducted the opening ceremony in front of that huge crowd. He must really care about the Monster Scout Challenge. Yeah, good on him. I don't think I would be too comfortable doing that. Although saying that, streaming and doing this has definitely helped my confidence in talking. But I, I, still, if you're in front of actual people in the flesh, I think I'd, uh, yeah, I'd be pretty nervous. Ta -da -da -da. It's news hour, and I'm your host, K Kanasa Croupier. The seventh monster scout challenge is finally underway. Make sure you check it out. I will. I'm gonna win the damn thing. Hey kid, you look like you're new to the scouting game. So give me, uh, let me give you some free advice. Though your monsters will recover from paralysis and poison at the end of each battle, it's best to kill them during the fight. They'll be less vulnerable that way. Yeah, but what if I'm, what if I'm being stingy with my items? Which I totally, totally am a lot of the time. Uh, all challenge participants are asked to register at HQ. Okay. Green Base is made up of seven islands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Domicile is the only one with a proper town. Most of the other islands just have scout posts. Oh, and the occasional palace. Oh, are there going to be mini medals in this? I've actually just realised. I wonder if it. I wonder if there's going to be mini medals in this. There's always mini medals in Dragon Quest. Although, again, with this being a spin off, who knows? I wonder what the Scout Mark thing could be. It must be very valuable. I mean, if the Commissioner is that enthusiastic about it. Yeah. Well, hopefully, I'll get my hands on one. I didn't mean to go down there. Gosh darn it. Right. Let's go check out... Is that... I'm guessing this is HQ. Probably. We'll check out the other buildings. I have a feeling this challenge is going to be something special. I've been following the challenge for 20 years, so I know what I'm talking about. Damn, you're in good shape for however old you must be. This is the department store, but apparently it's closed for renovation. 
when it will be open again. Okay, so I'm not going in there yet. Oh, another... Oh, of course, yeah. Had the same thing on it, right? Another Pokemon Center. Check out the notice board on uh, in the den to see who the current top five challenger leaders are. The more Darkonium a scout has, the higher his or her current position. We have not got any of that yet. Where did he sit? In the den? Was this uh, den then? Oh, it's probably in this door that's locked. Oh, this one isn't locked. Oh, hey, this is cozy. They say Darkonium is a kind of rock, right? But Green Bay is full of rock. Uh, rocks. Where do we start? Uh, I suppose we just have to comb each island one by one. Some islands have extremely powerful monsters. Make sure your team can handle them before boarding that sea scooter. Hey, has someone already explained the challenge rules to you? No. If not, go and register. There, okay. Yeah. So I'm guessing we can check this later then. Or check it now. Scout news. Piracy problems. Announcements. What the heck is all this? Okay. Yeah, let, let's just go uh, register and then check this out later. Uh, uh, wow, I sound drunk. Uh, check this out later. This music's great. The soundtrack is really, really good. That wasn't? Yeah, there's a building over here. Let's see if I can go in there. Oh, can I not? Wait, what? Oh, there's a little ramp here. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to tell with the camera angle. What's this place? The empty room. Please tell me there's items in here. Oh, hello. Eager Folds. Uh, I am Dr. Snap's great heart rival, Eager Folds. I am oh, I am working on a great invention that will make the Scoutling look like a baby's toy. When the public sees my creation, the world will be never, uh, will never be the same again. My name is Igor Folds, but you can call me Igor. I like you already. Can I really not search any of these cabinets? Don't make me sad, game. You're making me sad, game. Oh, I want to search stuff. I want to get items for free. You don't want to have to pay for them. Nice pigtails. Uh, Mummy went shopping, so I'm looking after the house. Good. Good to know you just let random strangers in then, doing a bang-up job. I'm sure she'll be thrilled. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be much point in going in these uh, buildings at the moment. Yeah, I, I, I'm definitely pressing... Yeah, definitely can't search those. Oh well. To the second floor. Was oh, this your monster? Hey mister, you're competing in the challenge, right? When I grow up, I'm gonna be a scout too. See, I already have a monster. What's his name? Glup Glop Gloop. You need to give it a really cool name. Otherwise, you know, what's the point? I'm pretty happy with Goober. I wouldn't take the old geezer who lives downstairs too seriously if I were you. He's convinced himself that he's Dr. Snap's great rival, but he's the only one who thinks so. Oh, he hasn't invented a single thing in his life. Poor guy. I still, I, I like him even more now, actually. <laughs> yeah, again, doesn't seem to be any items in these rooms. Just, uh, just some flavor text from NPCs, which I am absolutely fine uh, talking to. What do you think you're doing? This is a private house. I'll have you know. Uh, you challenge scouts think you own the place. I'm just a JRPG protagonist. My daughter wants to become a scout in the monster challenge. 
But my husband is dead set against it. He says it's too dangerous. I don't... I would, well, I suppose recruiting monsters can be dangerous, but at the same time, we, we aren't the one taking damage. It's just monsters that take the damage. We force them to fight each other. It's, it really is Pokemon. Again, why are these... In, am I not opening these right or something? It feels like I should be able to open these. Well, anyway, there was really nothing in this building. Although I'm glad I met Igor. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if he will invent something later on. There's a window. <laughs> There's a window. I was trying to open it. Right then. Let's go register. I keep on saying I'm going to do that and then get distracted. That is the, that is the wrong door. I've actually looked into how long this game is, and uh, it looks pretty lengthy, like 30 or so hours for the main story, obviously more than that if you want to do side stuff. I uh, can't promise this will be 100%, especially considering this is my first time playing, but uh, I'll try and do the game justice. Right. HQ. Yeah, they really like their water features in this uh, domicile. Are you here to register for the challenge? Yep, sure am. Yes. Oh, this is lovely. This is the very first time. Uh, this is my very first time in the challenge. I'm all a quiver. <laughs> How comes you don't look nervous? You're just a young lad and all. Uh. I probably don't care enough to be nervous. Alright, this looks like a pretty big building again, so... Probably gonna end the video here, chaps. Next time, we're gonna explore the head uh, headquarters, we're gonna register for this challenge and finally get it underway, but, um... I'm liking our team at the moment. Obviously, it could be stronger. Uh, looks like, yeah, Platy's pretty close to leveling again, which is nice. Uh, and Platy's gonna get some skill points, too. Which is good, but, yeah, skill points seem to be quite, uh... Scarce at the moment, as is money, but that's fine. We're only at the beginning of the game. Thank you for watching, everyone. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.